We have a protest tonight, and we're going to be projecting your favorite karaoke tunes onto the sidewalk. And we're going to be singing intentionally tone deaf because the president has been intentionally tone deaf to the marijuana users in this country, to the 600,000 people a year who are unlucky enough to go to jail. And if you're African American, you're four times more likely to go to jail for the same crime. We have ridiculous laws in the books. We legalized marijuana here so we'd stop arresting over 5,000 people a year for marijuana. Now there's about uh, you know, 500,000 adults in Washington, D.C. So we were arresting about 1% of the population year after year after year. I know they're smoking weed inside that White House. And they probably, for the last 16 years, every president has admitted to smoking weed and at some point in their lives. Well, why should we think they're not currently smoking and just hiding it because that's what people have to do who have professions. And so I got me to think, I wanted to ask the Secret Service a question. And since you guys are standing right there, I'm gonna ask you this question. If you smelled weed coming from the third floor of the White House, or, yeah, from the top floor, from that, from the residence, would you then have fourth? Would you have the right to, to search their private areas, their like private living areas? <laughs> It is illegal to consume cannabis anywhere in the United States. There is no state that has a law about where you can consume it. 